so hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install superior os 13 official for mi 11x redmi k40 the poco f3 in the end of the video i'll be reviewing the rom so stay tuned for that so for the so the prerequisites are you need to have an unlocked bootloader uh you need to remove your google account you have to remove your my account you have to remove your google accounts and then you have to remove your password and security then you can stay on any version of miui with an unlocked bootloader and you need to have these three files in your internal storage which is the miui firmware part uh, the rom zip and the twrp image once you have all of them you can reboot into your twrp by clicking on power off then keep on press the pressing the volume volume and power up button put it you can head into wipe advanced wipe and then select your dali card cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done we can go back we can go to install we have to select our firmware part which is the recommended one given in the click on confirm flash once that is done we can go back we can go to install you have to select the superior os rom zip and click on swipe to confirm flash Once the ROM is flashed, uh, the failed to mount errors can be ignored. We can go back, we can go to advanced, click on install recovery RAM disk and then scroll down, select the TWRP recovery image and then swipe to install. Once it says image flash completed in both the places, that means your recovery is installed successfully. Now we can go back. Once your recovery has been flashed, we can go to reboot and then click on recovery. Once your recovery has booted, we can get into wipe, format data and then type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your data. Once your format data is successful, you can click on reboot system. So once your ROM is booted, we can do the initial setup. So here is it, our ROM is booted. Now we can look at the look at the camera app right now. This is a pretty good app. I love the UI. We do have the 48 MP here. And in the video, we have 1080p 30, 24, and 4K and 30 and 24. And we also have this scan option. The camera app is fine. We also have the Dolby Atmos pre installed, that's pretty nice. And then now let's head into settings. And we also have some app called Super Balls, that's the wallpaper app, that's nice. Now let's head into about phone, device, name. The Android version is 13. And the current version they're using is Nexus Alloy. And the superior version is 13. This is, this is a version with G apps. This is how the settings panel looks like. And now let's head into the superior lab. This is the superior OS, superior OS settings and status bar under that we have network traffic indicator status bar items you can choose which should stay and which should go that's pretty nice we have the 4G icon yeah, we can change the battery style and at the end of the video I'll be telling you if 5G works or not so stay tuned for that battery percentage inside or outside we can change the clock position we have auto hide for clock under the quick settings, we have visible on touch, data usage, high US and check your lock screen, QS pull down. That is it. Now let's go to the buttons. You can click on the volume make. This wakes up your device on pressing the volume keys. Playback control when the screen is off, long pressing volume keys will skip music tracks. And then under navigation bar, we have system navigation. Two button, three button, but gesture is pretty nice. Under lock screen, we have lock screen charging info so we'll be getting info on how much walls or uh, ampere has been used under pulse this is this shows the waves of the music which is being played and media cover art displays the media cover art when it's available and we have fingerprint authentication under power menu we have enable advanced restart so under restart you'll be getting 
bootloader system, UI system, recovery, etc. Under themes, we have uh, we can change the buttons if we enable them, and we have the icon shapes. We can change the icons like this. That's pretty nice. Oh, okay, fine. You can change the icon shapes. You can change the Wi-Fi style. You can customize them separately. That's nice. Under notifications, we have annoying notifications. Play sound and vibration for notifications when the screen is on. That's nice. So guys, the annoying notifications are just like, let me just show you. Let me just plug it in now. That's it. That's the annoying notifications. Under miscellaneous, we have ripple effect. Ignore windows, set your flags, unlock high FPS in games, nothing but spoofing FPS. It just gives you the highest FPS possible in the game. And unlimited Google Photos, this is, this is a nice option. You can be storing unlimited Google Photos in your cloud storage. So well, the notification panel can be customized like this. This looks pretty cool. And then even the notifications on the lock screen, that's also pretty nice. And then this is how the volume panel looks like. They are pretty smooth. The animations are pretty smooth. Now let me just show you the Geekbench test on this ROM. So here are the results. We have a single core of 1157 and a multi core of 3304. That's pretty nice. And right now let's do the CPU throttling test for this device. That's still 100% of some time and then it drops to 80 or 75. So that's still nice. So well, the 5G isn't working on this ROM currently. I guess in the future updates, they'll be adding this 5G option. So if this video helped you on how to install this ROM, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.